Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a, another story time. This is going to be about the time where I almost choked a girl in the Dean's office. Um, I am not proud of this. I do not condone fighting whatsoever, but stuff happens. So before I get into this video, I just want to say that my hair has a mind of its own today. It needs to be washed. Um, but yeah, also I normally would have a backdrop up, but it wasn't cooperating with me today. So without further ado, we're just going to get right into this story time. Okay, so first I need to rename the two girls in this um, story. So I'm going to name one Sarah and the other... Um, dang, what do I want to name her? Mariah. Okay. So um, we all kind of... Well, not kind of, we all ran in like the same circle. So at that time I was going through a breakup and then Mariah was on and off with her boyfriend who me and him became friends because me and her were friends and he was kind of giving me advice on my relationship. I mean, we were in high school so it was kind of like stupid advice, but whatever. He was giving me advice so me and him became friends and then um, him and her, like I said, were kind of on and off. So... Um, at first, like, me and him were just, like, strictly just friends, and then eventually I started to like him, um, and so I told Sarah, like, hey, you know, I really do kind of like, you know, him, I'm not gonna say his name, um, and she was like, no, like, that's, that's bogus, you know, you, she's your friend, whatever, blah, 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 like, don't do that to her, and I'm like, yeah, you're right, like, that's bogus, whatever. Literally, I kid you not, y'all, two weeks later, Sarah was in a relationship with Mariah's ex-boyfriend and I'm looking at her like you literally just told me not to do that to her like you knew how you felt you knew how she felt about him whatever like you literally told me not to do it for you to go and do it like I don't understand but I was like okay whatever so we kind of like fell out after that because I'm like that's real life kind of petty because you knew you know I kind of liked him again this is high school so it was like really petty like just whatever so um and so, but Mariah was so friends with her, which I was kind of confused because the whole reason why this happened was because I guess I ended up telling Mariah like, hey, I kind of somewhat had feelings for him. And she got mad at me. But I'm like, you're not mad at Sarah and she the one dating him. So how are you going to get mad at me? So that's how this whole little shebang started. So, so basically what happens is Mariah gets on Twitter and she starts talking like all this shit. And um, she is lighter than I am. So she was on there. She was calling me all types of dark skin, whatever. Which, if you know me, I love being dark skin. Like, I don't mind it. I don't care. So it, it, the tweets really didn't bother me. But I'm just like, okay, you re you just really talking like a lot of crap. So we'll see what happens when we get to school in the morning. So the next day we get to school and I see her. So I go up to her and I'm like, okay, so what's the issue? Like, you know, what is all that stuff you were talking about on Twitter? Mind you, she wasn't at me. She was really just subtweeting me. Um, and I'm just like, bro, like you're subtweeting. Like, what's the issue? What's the issue? Now, my mom has always told me never to throw the first punch. So I was, I was waiting for her to hit me. So I was kind of like provoking her and trying to like egg her on. And so um, Sarah basically like, was gone like she like took off so Mariah is just there by herself and I'm like in her face and I'm like you know what is the deal like I was literally like this close like we were I was so close to her because I'm just like put your hands on me so I can hit you and she really wasn't saying anything and so my friend's like tugging on me she's like Kayla oh my god Kayla let's go let's go and I'm just like no like I really want to know like what the issue is like you're you know you're making all these dark skin jokes and you're you're saying all this stuff about me you know and now that I'm here in your face you're really quiet like what's the issue what's the issue and, you know, she wasn't really saying anything. She was kind of like mumbling under her breath. And I'm just like, like, okay, whatever. So my friend pulls me away and I'm like, you know what? It's not even worth it because she's not going to hit me. She's not going to say anything. So I'm going to just walk away. <clears throat> of course, we get called down to the dean's office because like teachers have seen it or whatever. So we get called down to the dean's office. So um, both of our deans were in there because and when I was in high school, your dean was based on your last name and her last name started with an M and mine started obviously with an S. So, um, both of our deans were in there trying to figure out what was going on. And so the way they had us sitting was like, there was the dean's desk and then it was her and then her dean on one side of the desk and then me 
and my name on the other side of the desk and they just wanted us to talk about the situation like how did we get to where we were like this morning and so we're like talking about it and I'm just sitting there thinking like this is so stupid because you know she's not gonna say anything so um my dean asked me you know well, why didn't you hit her which is kind of a stupid question but i was like well one because my mom always told me to not never to throw the first punch and two i kind of sat back and thought about it and i'm like my mom has a law school final today and at my high school if you fought you got arrested so and your mom we're well, not your mom your parents would have to come and get you and i was like if i was to hit her and i was to get arrested my mom would have to stop her final for law school to come and get me and she would kill me and i'm like that's really like one of the main reasons why I didn't hit her was because I did not want my mom having to come and get me. Like, she would kill me. And all I heard was your mom, blah, 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 blah. Like, I didn't even know, like, what she said. Like, I honestly don't even know what she said. Like, she could have said your mom has nice hair. Like, I honestly didn't even hear what she said. All I heard was your mom, and I instantly, like, just jumped across the desk. Like, and my dean was a man, so he just, like grabbed me and I was so mad because I went to go like swing but I I couldn't get to her because he had grabbed me like super quick I didn't even make it over like a quarter of the desk like I literally just jumped and I may I remind you that I am short so I literally just I don't know like I don't even know like what she said but like when you say something about my mom I instantly just I'm just like I'm gonna hit you so I just jumped across the desk and I went to go swing at her but my dean grabbed me and he just like basically flung me back in the chair and she was just sitting there like her eyes got really big because I don't think she was expecting that type of reaction like I think she was thinking well we're in the dean's office we're in like a safe place like she's not gonna you know do that but I'm like no you don't get a free pass to talk about my mom because we're in the dean's office so I instantly just like bro like yeah I have to hit you. So, I didn't even bother asking her what she said. I'm just like, all I heard was my mom, like your mom, and I, that was it. And we literally had to sit there and just like talk about the situation. And no one really got suspended. We got, well, not, we got in school suspension or whatever, which was like Saturday school. <laughs> so, we were lit. I had Saturday school for like a month straight from literally, for literally like jumping. Well, I didn't even get all the way across the desk. So, I guess attempting to jump across the desk in the dean's office. I literally had Saturday school for a month straight and it was four hours on a Saturday. It was hell. But, um, yeah, to this day, I have not talked to her. That was like my junior year of high school. Um, I kind of still want to hit her. <laughs> but I'm just like, okay, whatever. Like, the situation is over with now. And now that I look back at it, I'm like, dang, I kind of wish I would have made it across the desk. But then I'm like... Okay, I'm happy I didn't make it across the desk because it probably wouldn't have been good for either one of us. But, yeah, don't talk about my mama. Like, <laughs> I'm just like, you don't talk about people's parents. Like, that's not okay. So, yeah, that that was the time that I almost had to hurt someone in the dean's office. Like I said, I do not condone fighting, but I feel like at that point in time, when you say something about my mother, I instantly, you just... I don't know I just I don't know if you guys are like this but someone when someone talks about like your parents or like your grandma or your grandpa or somebody you just instantly like what did you just say like you just want to go at them and I'm just I don't know it's just one of those situations and like I said I do not condone fighting please do not be out there fighting but it was just one of those times where all that just went out the window and I'm just like what did you say would you like to repeat it I'm just I'm just curious if you would like to repeat what you just said okay guys that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I will see you guys in my next video